The office of the vice president has launched its Libreng Sakai program aimed at easing the daily commute on Filipinos amidst the pandemic and sky-high fuel prices. According to Vice President Sara Duterte, her office is eyeing to deploy more buses and add routes as we hear more in this report from Daniel Manalastas. Vice President Sara Duterte and Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista Jr. jointly inspected the two buses to be used for the Libreng Sakai or Free Ride Program of the Office of the Vice President. The program aims to help ease the burden of commuters, especially in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. The OVP's Libreng Sakai will kick off in the EDSA busway route. The OVP free rides are from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m and from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. again in the afternoon and the evening. According to Vice President Sara Duterte, these buses were lent to them during the campaign and will now be put to use for the benefit of commuters. Let me emphasize that this program is a demonstration of effective government and private sector collaboration. According to the OVP, they are targeting to increase the number of buses for their free ride program and intend to also have a route in Commonwealth Avenue. Besides the NCR, they also have free rides of one bus each in Bacolod, Cebu, and Davao cities. The interior of the bus is clean, Wi-Fi ready, and even has a toilet. A number of drivers in the program express gratitude to the OVP. Tuloy-tuloy po yung work namin eh. At pag, ano, siyempre, kahit pa paano, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung, tuloy-tuloy po rin yung sahod namin. According to Vice Presidential Spokesperson Attorney Reynold Bunsayak, this program will last for six years. The OVP, meanwhile, will take responsibility for the vehicle's fuel and maintenance, while a private company will take care of the drivers and their assistance salaries. Daniel Manalastas for...